रेलवे का वाटर लेवल इंडिकेटर वी नीड्स फ्यू कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक ट्रांसिस्टर्स ट्रांसिस्टर्स एंड एल ई डी एंड दिस इज बजर वी नीड अ पीस ऑफ पी सी बी एंड सम पीस ऑफ वायर्स आई एम यूजिंग द ट्रांसिस्टर बी सी वन एट एट इट्स अ पी एन पी ट्रांसिस्टर सो दिस स्केमेटिक विल हेल्प यू हाउ टू मेक अ वाटर लेवल इंडिकेटर I'm hiding these components. So easy to understand schematic. So I have this schematic for you. So easily you can understand how to make water level indicator. So as in the figure you can see there are three LEDs: one LED one, LED two, and LED three. This LED will indicate the high level of the water. It's a medium, and it will be show as a लो वाटर लेवल इंडिकेटर सो इट्स बी सी वन एट एट पी एन सी ट्रांसिस्टर सेम दीज आर ऑल्सो द बी सी वन एट एट ट्रांसिस्टर न्यूज सो ईच ट्रांसिस्टर हैज यू नो थ्री पिंस बेस कलेक्टर एंड एमीटर सो दिस इज द बेस दिस इज द कलेक्टर एंड दिस इज द एमीटर एमीटर इज द एमीटर इज फॉर द इनपुट वोल्टेज Collector will provide the voltage as the output, and base and the base is the signal wire. So once the negative signal will comes to the base, then this will be transfer the negative uh, uh, positive voltage from here to here. I mean uh, collector, uh, I mean emitter to collector. So this is the schematic. It's a very easy circuit. So I'm connecting the each of the emitters together, and and I'm giving the positive C voltage to the each pin of the transistor. LED one, the positive pin of the LED one is connected uh, connected with the collector pin of the transistor one. Same positive pin of the LED two is connected with the collector pin of uh, transistor two. And same LED three positive pin is connected with the collector of the transistor three, and all these rest of the negative pins I have connected together, and uh, I'm giving the mm, negative voltage here. And same we will use this negative wire as the common wire. This this I will use this as the common. So once the water will fill in the tank. and ground you know the water uh, is used as a conductor so negative signal will go to the base of the transistor one this circuit will complete and it will be produce the positive voltage and it will flow the current emitter to collector and then led will indicate the low level of the water once the water will reach at this point medium then again ground voltage will i mean negative voltage will go to the base pin of the transistor to as well so same once the negative voltage will come to the base then emitter will produce the current to the collector and led 2 will be glow and same with this LED one. So let's get started. I hope you can easily understand this schematic, and you can uh, download the image or figure schematic in the uh, link of the description below. So we have components. So I'm using this PCB. So first arrange the pins of the transistor like this okay i'm spreading the legs 
of the transistor like this see so hold the transistor like this i mean the flat side front of you and uh, this pin will be collector and middle pin will be base and this will be the emitter so arrange the three transistor like this as i am arranging I have arranged the transistor like this. Just sold the all the pins like this. Cut the excess legs. Now arrange the legs of the resistor like this. insert the resistor nearby the base pin and i will short one resistor pin with the base pin of the transistor Bend the legs at the 45 degree angle. This is actually the rules of the soldering. So, component will not move, and you can sold easily. Cut the excess legs. Now I have three 
LEDs. So I will use green. You can see the flat side of the LED. This is the this indicate the negative side. Bend the all legs at 45 degree angle, same as we have done before. So I have insert inserted in a few different LEDs. We just sold it out. Short. Then positive pin of the LED with the collector pin of the transistor like this and making a bridge. So I have connected the positive pin of the LED with the transistor pin to cut the axis legs. Yes, these are the negative pins, so connect the, these all negative legs together. So bend like this and just short all together. Now we have the emitter pins and we have to connect these emitter pins together. So we have some legs of you know, LEDs. We so can arrange like this. Cut that leg and connect this together. Okay. Same, I have another pin. So connect this two. Bend. Make sure this will not short with the other you know, contacts. Okay, so now your circuit is almost ready. We have mount all components. The positive pin of the this LED is connected with the collector pin of this transistor. The sister is connected with the base 
and each of the you know these emitter pins we have connected together so give the positive voltage so i have a piece of wire so make sure this must be connected uh, with the positive pin i mean emitter and this is and we will give the positive voltage to the emitter same this must be connected with the negative pin of the led so i am connecting this piece of wire with the negative pin of led And now we required four pieces of wires. Connect the negative common wire with the negative. I am using this red wire as a So we we have you know three different LED. This will be as a high. So connect this wire. The first resistor. Second. these are the signal wire okay this is high this is medium and this is low this is common and these are for voltage positive 3 volt and this is negative a Like, like this. 
this is medium Placing on this level and this is high and using this okay and then I will use some tape One more thing you can add the buzzer with this. See the buzzer. 